I want to thank the Creator for loaning me yet another day in this physical world. And I ask you to please forgive me for how I'm about to make you feel, and I love you. I want to thank the Creator for the little things in life that have been blessed and put on my path. But I also want to thank the Creator for all the trials and tribulations I had to go through to be able to find that sense of peace and balance on my physical walk on this journey we call life. We as four directional people are taught that everything happens for a reason, that everything is put on our path for a reason, that people, places and things are put on our path to teach us about life, to teach us about ourselves. The six years in the wilderness also, there was knowledge that was shared with me from the ancestors, from the higher power that I know as my creator. One of those messages were that there would come a time the Western world would realize their values, their philosophies, their beliefs do not work. And they would recognize that time when there would be mass chaos, confusion, mayhem, and destruction happening throughout the back of Mother Earth. That they would go sit at the sacred fire of the red man and relearn life. Anustigua iguama kiwabatino o my sini skiumatsu muktiuni. Today now we see that starting to happen. A lot of our Western brothers and sisters coming to sit with the knowledge keepers, coming to sit in ceremony to understand what they need to do on their part to change their way of thinking and how they conduct themselves on this physical walk in this physical world. Magastya mechi rai sinu anokt ki abitya huanoktiyo. But having said that as well, there are still those who are who have lost their way. Magai go amiu yo ki chim go sta. But those that have lost their way and continue to lose their way, that was their understanding and purpose for being brought into this world in these challenging and interesting times. They are here to teach humanity what happens when you lose your way and lose your your understanding and your purpose and don't know why you were born into this world. They had said that the human being that we are all given the ability to think for ourselves. It's called free will. But today, there are systems, there are structures, there are beliefs, there are values that have been put in place that have made many stray from their purpose and why they were brought into this world. That have been led astray through fear, guilt, shame, and not honoring and connecting with their higher power, and where they have forgotten about.
about their fellow human being, including themselves. Today, there are people who are literally struggling with mental health. There are people not understanding the global shift in consciousness that's happening. There are people who can't handle the increase in frequency and vibration of Mother Earth. And there are nations, there are leaders in business, in religion, in academia, in community, who are still resisting in understanding and embracing that there is a new world that is emerging. A new world where love, kindness and compassion is going to be the norm. It was said those that are resisting and not accepting the new world emerging. We are the old people say they have put themselves. And they will see in the very near future what happens when you don't respect and honor what the Creator has provided every day for them, which is life. This physical walk is sacred for a reason. And that if you truly love your children, then you will do the work, then you will do what it takes find that emotional, mental, physical, spiritual balance in life. And for those chosen elect, star seeds, light workers, healers, seers that had made contracts, spiritual contracts with the Creator to help their fellow human being in these challenging and interesting times, they are now being called to order. <laughs>